Hey YouTube, this is Klaus in the greenhouse. Welcome to my channel, Plant Based News. And today in the news for us, we have the one and only Holly Brown Fit. Over to her. Today on Plant Based News, Disney World gets a vegan bakery, Kal-El goes nude for PETA, Pope Francis is named PETA's 2015 Person of the Year, eating plants may help kidney disease, Humane Party U.S. Presidential Candidate Clifton Roberts calls to abolish slavery for all non-human animals, and the NIH ends all chimpanzee experimentation. Our first story for today, Disney World gets a vegan and gluten-free bakery, and now there is magic for everyone. Erin McKenna's Bakery NYC, formerly known as Baby Cakes, a vegan and gluten-free bakery, has stationed a spot in the downtown Disney marketplace. The most magical place on earth just got a little bit more magical. Thanks for that information, Holly. Thank you. I heard there's been some news about Kalel. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, please? Popular YouTuber Kalel recently did an anti down nude photo shoot for PETA to bring awareness to animal cruelty. Guys, here's our process so far. I'm trying not to show my boobs. <laughs> but there's all these like wounds. You can tell it looks like little feathers, and they're gonna like enhance it in post to make it look, you know, more realistic texture. Kalel stated on a recent video, I did this campaign with a pure heart and only with the intent of doing good. I want more than anything to build awareness and stop the pointless torture. Pope Francis has been named PETA's 2015 Person of the Year. The first pope to take the nickname Patron Saint of Animals, Pope Francis earned the title for asking citizens of the world to treat animals with kindness and respect the environment something that can only be interpreted as a subtle hint to go vegan. He recently tweeted, It is contrary to human dignity to cause animals to suffer or die needlessly. With more than a billion Catholics worldwide, Pope Francis has a massive audience, so we hope people hear his compassionate message and choose to go vegan. A paper published in the National Kidney Foundation's American Journal of Kidney Diseases shows that eating more plant protein could help prevent death in those with reduced kidney function. This is significant news considering over 26 million people have kidney issues and that one in three Americans overall is at high risk for developing kidney disease. The analysis looked at health data from over 14,000 participants in the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. Those who consume large amounts of animal protein had higher death rates. Considering the recent information put out by the World Health Organization on the risks of eating processed meats and red meats, this is yet another nail in the meat industry's coffin. In a recorded speech, Humane Party U.S. presidential candidate Clifton Roberts talks about the 150th anniversary of the ratification of the 13th Amendment, which abolished all human slavery. In accordance with this historic date, the Humane Party has established American Abolition Day and has finalized a constitutional amendment, the APE Amendment, calling for the abolition of slavery of all primates. Today marks the 150th anniversary of the ratification of the 13th Amendment, which in essence abolished slavery for all humans in this country. And in observance of this historic day in history, the Humane Party has established its first ever American Abolition Day. The Humane Party is a leader in the efforts to abolish slavery not only for humans but for all non-human animals. 98% of the slaughter and the torture and abduction and mutilation of these animals that occur in the United States occur in these 1100 federally sanctioned and federally inspected so-called slaughterhouses. And if you truly love the rights of animals and you really love animals you need to put your vote where your, where your voice is and you need to show action. Clifton discusses the Humane Party's 2016 goal of introducing additional constitutional amendments that eliminate and abolish slavery for all non-human animals. He urges viewers to put your vote where your voice is. We can all leverage as part-time citizen politicians to move toward a society that protects our non-human animal friends. 
And finally, just last month, the director of the National Institute of Health, Dr. Francis Collins, announced that his agency will end the last vestiges of federally supported chimpanzee experimentation. In 2013, the NIH actually stated that it would retire experimentation of more than 85% of the chimpanzees it owned, leaving only 50 individuals as a reserve colony for possible future use. While it was a major victory, this concession was not enough. For years, the Physicians Committee, along with other groups, battled over chimpanzee experimentation. The NIH conducted these experiments out of what they deemed to be a necessity. While the Physicians Committee held that it was completely unnecessary to subject animals to such a cruel and inhumane practice. Though 2013 offered a sizable but incomplete victory of the NIH retiring 85% of chimpanzees from experimentation, this announcement marked a complete and refreshing victory for the groups who fought so hard as advocates against the needless chimpanzee experimentation. That's it for today's episode of Plant-Based News. I'm Holly Brown. Stay classy, YouTube.